Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my part. This is part two of the episode that I released earlier this week and we are making something delicious. Now if you manage to find conch from one of your ethical conch suppliers, your ethical fishermen like mine, high tide seafood, well of course, this is a treat, especially in the month of January, because conch is an everyday staple for many of us, but it's becoming a luxury. Um, when you know that your regular chicken shack, conch shack can't find conch to sell to you on a regular basis, you know you gotta have your conch stash in the freezer for such a time as this. Today's episode of Bodine Pot is sponsored by Showman E Bistro. Let Showman E Bistro make your Bahamian meal kit dreams come true so that you don't have to be in the food store every two seconds. Go to showmanebistro.com to order your meal kit today and explore the recipe page with international recipes right there at your fingertips. I know about y'all, but I like steam conch, but I only like my steam conch. What I don't like about buying steam conch out is the fact that some people make steam conch and the steam conch is be dry or it is be rubbery. How you make dry steam conch, I don't really, really know, but people have done it and I have been scarred by it. It is not good. It's because steam conch is supposed to be exactly that, steamed. Do not overcook your conch. If you beat that conch well enough to the point where it is nice and tender, it only takes maybe about 10 minutes, 15 minutes if it's a thicker piece of conch for it to steam. Anything past that is gonna give you a rubbery, um, grainy, old tasting conch. That's for fresh conch. So if your conch has been in the freezer for any length of time, especially those of us that keep conch for a few months, what you wanna do is you wanna kinda boil your conch and save that conch water. Okay, boil it and save that conch water. And when you add it into the steam gravy, you are not going to cook it for as long because it's already partially cooked. And that is the difference. So beat it, steam it, enjoy it. Let's get the recipe started. Believe it or not, the first thing that you wanna do when you're making any steamed dish is to create your gravy. So you're gonna take two tablespoons of vegetable or coconut oil, any neutral oil to be honest, and you're gonna add it to the pot. Then you're going to add one cup of chopped onions. I have them slivered because I like the texture of it for steamed, and a half a cup of sliced sweet peppers. If you want a sweeter gravy, you definitely can include some celery. Now we're gonna take one tablespoon of tomato tomato paste. If you want your gravy to be a bit redder, well of course you can double this, but we're going to fry that tomato paste out until it looks grainy just to make sure that it doesn't make our food bitter. Now we're going to take one full cup of overripe tomato. The riper to the tomato, the better especially when it comes down to steaming food. And we're gonna cook that all the way out until the tomatoes start to disintegrate. We're gonna add a tablespoon of thyme and a tablespoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. I'm also gonna add a tablespoon or half a tablespoon of oregano and half a tablespoon of salt to taste. And we're gonna be salting as we go because it's better to have to add salt than it is for us to try and take salt away. Trust me, you do not wanna over salt your conch or any other dish. Hypertension is a real thing and we're trying to avoid it. Here, I already have salt inside this homemade fish broth. So you can use fish broth or you can use water or chicken broth if you have it. I'm going to add two small bay leaves, but one large bay leaf will do if you have it. And we're going to add half a cup or one cup of sliced carrots. People normally add, um, well, potatoes to this to thicken the gravy. We're going to cook this until the gravy starts to steam and it thickens. And then it's time for us to add our fresh tenderized conch. When it comes to our conch, you want to make sure that the pieces are evenly sized, they are perfectly tenderized, and as I explained earlier, if you're going to be using um, conch that has been in the freezer, you want to make sure that you steam it ahead of time, okay? I'm just adding some other seasonings to taste. I'm adding some red pepper flakes. This is what I have from my Showman e Bistro kit that is left. I have a whole lot of other seasonings, and one tablespoon of lime juice. Other things that you can add just to give this some kick is believe it or not fresh parsley fresh cilantro trust me when i say seafood dishes and cilantro and lime are it 
Now it's time to steam our kong. So we're going to let the steam for 10 to 15 minutes at the point that you're seeing this here. It has been steaming for five and this is about seven minutes in and you can look and see why we didn't add a whole lot of water because kong actually releases water as it cooks. We're going to let the steam for seven minutes uncovered until the water starts to evaporate. Unless of course you like this type of steam. Y'all see this here? Y'all see this juicy? Y'all see this delicious? Y'all see this tender steam conch? It ain't super red. If you want it to be more red, you can add more uh, tomato paste. But me, I personally like my steam conch to look like steam conch, not steam chicken. But do you boo. And that's that for our steam conch. Y'all think it tastes good? I'm hoping that by the time I air this episode, I could get some feedback from certain people who has actually eaten this so that they could tell you just how good my steam conch is. But if you don't feel like cooking on your own or, you know, seasoning, beating, doing all this stuff, you can build your own meal kit with Showman E Bistro's Build Your Own Meal Kit service. You can get yourself your appetizers, that's your soup and your salad in conjunction with Greenleaf Farms. You can get yourself your entrees, that's pescatarian, which is fish, or your vegan and vegetarian options and your regular meat options from lamb chops um, to, I mean, like roast, I mean, just go check the website out. There's a whole lot of stuff up there. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Bodine Pot. If you want the actual measurements without having to watch the video, I don't know why, <laughs> but that's okay. You can go to bodinepot.com and you can subscribe to the newsletter. I'll be sending out updates on what we're going to be up to here on the channel. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel where you're watching this video right now. Hit the notification bell so you know each and every time I upload. And of course, leave me a comment so that I know what you want me to cook or how you would cook your steam conch. But keep it cute. Keep it cute. Jesus is still working on me and my ability to, to take constructive criticism. So be nice and be polite. I know I could respond good to them. If you want to follow us on Instagram, go to Bodine Pod Show on Instagram and Facebook. And if you just want to follow me, I'm Bodine Victoria across all your social media platforms. So let me go get this man his dinner. And I want you to remember, I just take up the food. So you don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot. <laughs>